Welcome to The Baseline. I'm Nick McCarville, joined by Dr. Marka Reed, and this year at the Australian Open, we are crunching the numbers like never before. We're doing so with something called GIG, the Game Insight Group. And Dr. Reed, today, we're looking at all things Serena Williams. It was a hot day out there. Tell me how she did. Look, it's a controversial topic, isn't it? Heat, tennis performance in the heat. Right. Interestingly enough, over the last three years with Serena, and there's been some hot days ranging from 18 right the way through to 40 that she's competed in during the first week of the Open. Her serve performance throughout those temperatures pretty much sustained. It doesn't deviate. On both the first and second deliveries. Yeah, in essence. All overall, right. she's able to maintain the same winning percentage independent of temperature. So what about today? She beats Belinda Bencic in straight sets, struggled towards the end of the match. Was she clutch when she needed to be particularly on that serve? No, no, particularly on first serve. She won 75% of first serve but in the biggest moments of the match, and that's what the clutch is all about. She only registered a 62% win rate. Even great champions feel nerves. Second serve, she lifted her rating a little bit, but not sufficient to compensate. So then what if we look at Serena historically as far as her last few Australian Opens, where does clutch really register and how does it impact her performance? If we think about 2014, she got bundled out in that fourth round. Right. Won 2015, and then into 2016 against Kerber, went down in three. 2014, 2016, we see some worrying trends from Serena's perspective. Okay. Basically, from the first round through to when she exited, she trended downward in terms of her overall clutch rating. Conversely, in 2015, we saw her steadily climb or sustain her clutch performance throughout the entire event. Got it. And she was absolutely clutch in that win in the final in 2015 against Maria Sharapova. So the past couple of years, Serena's really talked about quality of shot, shot quality as far as making sure that every ball counts. How do we actually measure that and make sure that she's applying that? Yeah, look, shot quality is something that we can get at beyond just looking at something like speed. We can layer in other variables like precision, how tightly she hugs the line, how much weight she's got on the ball, okay. and the outcome as well. So with that in mind, Serena amongst the top 10 in the world rates at number one as it relates to serve, five as it relates to her forehand, and then six on backhand. Wow, surprising to see Serena Williams there at number two in shot quality. Thank you, Dr. Reed, for that. And we'll see all of you tomorrow right here on The Baseline.